widely different attitudes toward the same set of experiences. However, when two people react to the same experience with the same attitude, they share a powerful natural bond. Attitudes have the tendency to be infectious. And because they are rooted in emotional interpretation of experiences, they can be distorted and shaped. They can be wound up or wound down. What happens when people lose control and become angry? They look belligerent, sorry, they look belligerent body language. Their voice tone is harsh and they use menacing words. They can be very scary to be around from the point of view of making people like you or even getting willing cooperation. We call this a really useful attitude. How often have you seen infuriated parents berating their children for knocking over the bananas at the supermarket or bore uninterested shop assistants or cracky impatient doctors? They are all putting out useful, sorry, they are all putting out useless attitudes. Oh, I think two pages, three pages are done. And the last one. I'm not saying whether is this right or wrong. I'm just pointing out that from a communication stand out, it doesn't deliver to a message very well, assuming they have a message. And there's often the Sorry. And that's often the point. Useless attitudes tend to come from people who don't know what they really want from their communication. Remember, the K in KFC stands for know. Know what you want. If you don't know what you want, there is no message to deliver and no basis for connecting with other people. KFC the K is stand for no. Know what you want. Know what you want from this live video. Okay, just enjoy me or just be my friend. Okay, go on. Most people think in terms of what they don't want as opposed to what they do want and their attitude reflected. I don't want my boss yelling at me anymore. Comes with a whole different attitude then I want my boss's job, or I want to be promoted similarly. I am sick of selling neckties all day long. Sends a completely different attitude and set of signal to your imagination that does. I want to run a, co a charter fishing boat in honey. In honey harbor, you, sorry, your imagination is the strongest force that you you possess, stronger than willpower. Think about it. Your imagination projects sensory experiences in your mind through the language of pictures, sounds, feelings, smells, and tastes. Your imagination distorts realities. It can work for you or against you. It can make you feel terrific or miserable. So the better the informa sorry. So the better the information you can feed into your imagination, the better it can organize your thinking and your attitudes and ultimately your life. Okay, so the part of reading reading English language is over and I would like to say thank you so much and ขอบคุณมากครับคุณทุสดอนคุณชื่ออะไรนะครับมีการมาชมได้ว่ารอรอจังครับขอบคุณมากนะครับผมนะ so I'm going to finish my live my live video my video live from now on because it is the part of English reading and I will go to 